Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new SBC Paulinho card to review. We're taking a look at a card who has five star skills, a three star weak foot. Uh, he's a five foot 10 player, medium, medium work rates with an average body type. So uh, this is definitely going to be for the five star skillers that want to get a player that may or may not be too expensive. We're going to see what the price is at the end of the review. But with this card, guys, uh, when it comes to base card stuff, from what I'm seeing with the average body type is that we're probably going to have to work with the dribbling stats as it is because of the way that it's formatted. I mean, you could totally give him certain things like, I don't know, like you can give him like a maestro so that his shooting is in a really good area while giving him passing as well as the, you know, the higher dribbling, but then the pace is on the lower side. Um, you can give him the hawk chemistry style to essentially make his shooting perfect he does have a three star weak foot though traits he has technical dribbler flare traits so flare chair the five star skills is gonna be the main thing that people are going to be looking at for sure um i think on the hawk chemistry style it's not a bad choice to give because you give him 96 acceleration 96 sprint speed as one of the main attackers so i'm not completely against it to be honest with you uh shooting like i said is going to be in a good area except for the volleys passing on the card already in a good area you don't have to improve it for an attacking player so definitely good stuff there a card like this maybe you would use as your attacking oriented center mid you know like in a 4 one 2 and 2 i think that'd be really ideal for him because he even has a 90 stamina to work with too which wouldn't be bad to work with uh dribbling we'll be experimenting with because of the average body type we're gonna see what that's gonna be like in game and then for physical stats he has a stamina a little bit of strength on the hawk with a little bit of aggression so just gonna go ahead and complete the SPC and I'll show you guys how we line them up in game. Okay, so we're gonna add him right here. Slot him right in that team, beautiful. We're gonna give him the Hawk. Uh, you could totally give him a Hunter too if you really want all of that extra pace, which is pretty helpful for the skill moves if that's what you wanna do. I'm not completely against that. Uh, manager doesn't matter because it's 10 and 100. Okay, perfect. Uh, yeah, so custom tactics, we'll use the 4 one 2 and 2 play him at right striker, and um, we'll see how the card plays, man. Hopefully he's a beast in game. Ah, oh, <laughs> wanted to go for the quick uh, through ball there. Hmm, interesting that from the past he was already explosive. That's actually good. Oh, I didn't. I try to do a. You'll see my control. I try to do a, like a small left stick to get into the position. But um, yeah, I didn't expect any of that. That's why my timing was completely off. Oh, I tried to do L1 Elastico, but didn't want to do the stop there. Um, I am noticing this uh, explosiveness out of the card, though. Like, he has a medium, medium work rate, but he is actually making some pretty solid runs like he's not being super stagnant nice very smooth on that skill move see look oh the guy got me yeah he's he's just doing that himself that's why it's really good that we try out this 4 one 2 and 2 because um we just give these guys balance instructions Ooh, nice try, nice try. It's always nice to work with the skill moves, I will admit. That was really fast. That skill move came off really nice. Nice, we'll take that. Yeah, his, um, his medium, medium work rates, I couldn't care less about it. Oh, I had to let him commit a little bit there. Yeah, I had to let him commit. Ooh! <laughs> what a green time shot. Hit him on the Elastico. Beautiful finish. He 
you guys are seeing the runs, right? Like his medium medium is uh like I I don't care. It's, it's it feels like it's moving like a high medium. Beautiful stuff. Oh, when you do a lot of like consecutive skill moves, you got to be careful your player starts to get a little bit more emphasized. Ah, oh, after all those skill moves, I can only imagine. <laughs> Oh, white time Sean, he dips it with a weak foot too, huh? Okay, I'll take that. Oh, nice try. Yeah, he's making the runs, man. His medium, medium, guys, it doesn't matter. So when it comes to the chemistry styles, guys, it's really going to depend on the person. Like, if you want him to feel faster because his work rates are actually or his movement in game is actually good, even though he's a medium medium, uh, you could totally give him the hunter chemistry style to be able to utilize it way more than he is right now. Or if you want his shooting to be more consistent, you give him the hawk. But it's really going to depend on the person, I think. Oh, on a header, too. That sucks. I should have done an L trigger shot. I don't know why I didn't. I should have done a fancy. Ah, <laughs> sorry. You know, the L1 Elastico is a uh, different gravy. It's different gravy, my friend. Oh, dropped him. Oh, yeah. Be careful with the R trigger, especially with Gunabry. That card's awful. Oh, going to cancel. There we go. Oh. No, what is, I don't know what that positioning is there. It, it's really bad in those areas. But what a play, man. What a play. Almost had the goal there with his weak foot, too. Oh, I, you know, if I if I could hit a finesse shot from their EA, that would be great. Oh, if that first pass made it, that would have been perfect because he's already making that good run. Oh, I didn't get it. Oh, I didn't get it. That would have been so good. No, dude. He gives me a defensive play. Will you make that run, though? He will, don't worry about it. There it is, see? Didn't even trigger that. Oh, that one's on a green. Couldn't get that off, though. I don't know what this guy's doing. Elastic on the controller or something, so you know what that means. I get to test all finesse shots! <laughs> oh, he's back. Oh my, I actually almost caught that. That's pen. I don't even know what happened there. I just shot it. I was like, hey, man, maybe an animation will come off. <laughs> All right, let's see what his penalties is. Alengo has 82 with this chemistry style. So we'll go over to the right side here. There we go. I'll take that. Ooh, that first time scoop. Never go wrong with that. Give me that movement. There we go. Backwards, nice. Oh, and I had him there too, eh? I had him there. No. Okay, a little bit of the, a little bit of the shimmy shimmies. 
That long range finesse. The gem! Oh. <laughs> Yeah, open up the space backwards. Oh, I did not. I didn't expect the second one. That was weird. I, I had to like spam it a lot to make sure it registers, and then you know, it does the second one randomly. Uh, oh, I still have it. Oh, the four point touch. No. No, sorry. I just the five star skills is always it's just fun, you know? Fun to have in the game. What's funny about this card, guys, is that you notice the average body type, but not in like a huge nuisance way. Like you don't really care too much about it, if that makes sense. But you notice it for like the small little left stick touches and whatnot. Just like not as much as you normally would. Like usually I hate the average body type with a passion, but this time not so much. I had to, I wanted to chest it first to go for like a sick volley, you know? Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Paulingo card. So guys, in regards to how this card performs, there's gonna be two chemistry style options that you're gonna go with depending on, I guess, where you're gonna be playing him, right? So if you're playing him through the middle, I think a Hawk is gonna make the most sense because you want him to have, you know, good enough pace because 96, 96 is in a very good area with really good shooting capabilities just in case you get into the right positions at the right time uh, while working with some physical stats as well. Definitely very nice. What I will say though, is that I think for a lot of people, they're probably just gonna give them the Hunter chemistry style to fully utilize the skill move utilization as well as his attacking AI. Because this card guys has a medium, medium work rate, but it doesn't feel like a medium, medium in game. He actually does make good movements. A card like this playing in the cam position, the striker position, left mid, right mid is gonna move perfectly fine for you in those areas. Uh, and the shooting, if you give him the Hunter chemistry style, is going to be in a good area, but for most of the shots being inside the 18-yard box, right? So it just depends on the person. Like, if you notice that you're taking long shots more than anything, uh, then, you know, giving him a long shot boost will definitely be very important. But if you notice that you're taking most of your opportunities inside the 18-yard box, then giving him a Hawk would be uh, very ideal, too. Uh, the concept of this SBC I like. I do not mind him being at 100k, to be honest with you guys, because I think the whole reason to create a card like this is for you to have a five-star skiller from the Bundesliga that gives you links to someone like Talishka and Romarinho, right? Because if you take a look at the Romarinho card, right, this card is mainly used to give you that link to the Talishka card because he obviously doesn't have the five-star skills, but then Talishka actually does, right? So the fact that you can kind of work with that and kind of play with a team that's in the time period right now, which is the Bundesliga team of the season with the Saudi Arabian team of the season, I don't mind the concept of the SPC. I think it's pretty cool. Obviously, the three-star weak foot from certain power strikes and stuff is going to annoy you, but we ended up scoring that one finesse shot with him. But remember, we do have the Hawk chemistry style on him uh, to be able to score that as consistent as possible. It's not to say that he can score it on a Hunter. You guys know how FIFA is. It's random from time to time, but he was able to that one time, right? So, um, yeah, I don't mind the SPC. I think he performs pretty cool in game. His average body type didn't annoy me that much. It, it I feel it more for the off the ball movement than I do for the on the ball movement uh, because I feel like his five star skills is going to be his dribbling, but you notice it a little bit, not a lot. You notice it a little bit. Not because average body type is usually like really noticeable, but on his card, it's not too much. Uh, I mean, if you if the dribbling really bothers you, you could still give him a marksman chemistry style and you would just work with the pace being as it is, and that would not be a bad choice either. So I don't mind the SBC, even though he has the weak foots being at a three star, which they gave him a four star, would have been really cool. 105k, I think, is perfectly fine for uh, 
you know what he offers in game in my opinion so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today i'll catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys